Hey guys! Alright guys, we're here today on Friday to check out the latest release from Varg. Actually, their album comes out today on Napalm Records, Zeichen. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to say it with a German accent. Zeichen! That was pretty good, man. Pretty I, I good. actually cleared my throat while I was uh, while I was at it. So anyway, so the album comes out today on Napalm Records. They released this video a couple of days ago, Faratil Hanar. I think I just butchered it, but hey. You have to is, rip it off like a band-aid. It is what it is. This, uh, obviously, I know the album because I did an album review, so this song, as far as listening to it, is not going to be a new experience for me. It will be for you because you haven't heard the album. But for the video, this is going to be new for both of us because I haven't seen the video, you haven't seen the video. Uh, this is my favorite track on the album. I, and that's all I'm going to say. And I I want to get your take once we finish. I want to hear what you have you to know, say about the song that, and the video. You saying that has hyped it enough for me because you have a very... Um, um, my standards are high? You have a very high standard when it comes to metal music. Okay. I, I appreciate that you see it that way. Are you ready for this? Yeah. All right. Let's check this out.
All right. Since I already knew this song, I'm really going to give you the stage for you to tell me what do you think about this oh. track? Because like I said before we started, this is my favorite song of the album. The second one is Zyken, the, the title track for the record. The whole album, there's no bad songs. But these two, in my opinion, they kind of stand above all, all else, specifically this one. So what did you think? Oh, her vocals are beautiful. Beautiful. And I, I, I thought that, you know, she's just going to be used kind of at the start and then fade just away. Just like with the humming? Just with the humming, yeah. I didn't know she was going to have a, a full role in this song. And I, She's a new I, member of the band, by the way. I love I love it. It's it's amazing. It, his vocals alone, his vocals are 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 one of my favorites because I just love the intensity that he has. But then adding it with her, it's like the polar opposites, but yet they match together so well. I know he sounds like a character from the show Vikings. He does. Like you know what I mean? Like you know, like he's fighting Ivar, and he's like, it's like across. let's get everybody together. You know, like, I mean, like, you know, he's, he's got that, that pissed off Viking tone. Yeah, and he's tone. yelling across the battlefield. Oh, yeah, like, you could hear him a mile away. You could probably hear him uh, before you even got there. Like, you could hear his voice miles away telling people to hurry the fuck up so we can go and pillage and, and battle and fight and plunder and do whatever Vikings did. Yeah. All right. So, besides her voice, anything else you want to you wanna tackle on this song uh -huh. before I go in? Off the bench. As the sixth man. As a sixth man. Yeah. I mean, I was just captivated. This whole song, I was very captivated with the whole cinematic feel when she would come in in the chorus. And it would just enlighten the song so much when, when she did come in. I, I, I gotta say, you hyped it very well. And the hyping was just you saying it's the, your favorite song on the album. It, it's funny, because when I did the interview uh, about the album, uh, they, were, they were just getting... Uh, we got the, the interview got pushed a few times like later in the day because they were traveling from the place where they shot the video back home. So like I, I got to speak uh, to him after they had shot the video. So uh, he gave me a little bit of an information on, on about the video and stuff like that. That was kind of cool. Um, but talking about like, he kind of painted the picture of what they were what the idea was with the video. And at that time, obviously, when I listen to the album, I don't speak the the language so I, I don't understand the words i i don't understand what's going on so i, I have to kind of like um digest the song based on on the atmosphere that the songs create and how it feels to me specifically because it's a language that i don't speak right so it's not like i can go to the lyrics and say oh you know they're talking about yeah. whatever right so when i heard this song for the first time on the record the atmosphere that it created with her vocal specifically at the beginning it kind of had this feeling uh, of um what do you call it? It's not a mermaid, like a, a siren. A siren. It, 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 when I was listening to this track, I was like, and even on my review, if you guys go watch my album review, I mentioned this track It's as one of my favorite tracks, and I said, man, this song has great atmosphere. It feels like a siren calling for the Viking sailors. You know what I mean? Like, that that's the atmosphere the first time I heard the song, and I had no clue about what is being said or... Not, I'm, I'm, that tells you how good of a job they did musically and vocally. That for somebody who doesn't understand the song, I got that impression just from listening to the track. Oh, this is about a siren and 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 uh, and the Viking sailors and you know the calling of the Viking sailors, that kind of stuff. So when we did the interview, I asked about this song because it was one of my favorites. And this song is about the the title of the track is really about the goddess like uh, of the sea. So when the Vikings would die at sea, like if the ship sank and the Vikings died, they would the, this this goddess of the sea she would welcome them into her banquet, into her feast. So it's not like they made it to Valhalla. They're not in Valhalla, but they're not in hell either. They're in this other different place. Because they didn't place. die in battle. Because they didn't die in battle. So they're in this dif different place where she is. she's honoring them and everything that they've done with a feast. So the song is about that. It's about you dying at sea and her coming to take you into this sacred place. You know what I mean? And to me, I thought it was incredible because... Uh, like I got that the song was about the sea and, and the, without knowing any of the lyrics. That tells you, once again, how well, good of a job they, di they did because they really used her vocals perfectly. At the beginning, it sets the atmosphere, that siren atmosphere. But her voice is, is absolutely beautiful, godly. breathtaking, godly, breathtaking throughout the track. And his voice is so aggressive, is, is so strong. 
It just adds like the, the two of them are, are so polar opposite. Like he's the Viking, like, and, and she's that goddess that's welcoming him into his, into her, uh, her feast. The dynamic between the two is vocally is absolutely phenomenal and sold me on the track. But the humming, that atmosphere that it creates, it, it, the moment I listen to this song for the first time, I'm like, but, but that's wow, something siren I, of the sea. That's something I didn't know about uh, about Norse mythology. I, I didn't know about this either. I found out this when we were doing the interview. So there you go. You learn something you, new. Yeah, you learn something new every day. Now, one, one other thing I want to mention about the sound on this track is the drums. The drums on this track are outstanding. You could just hear him in the course. You could just hear him beating it. Yeah. Oh, dude. But the, I felt that this song has such a great dynamic, both musically and vocally. If you break it down the track. Musically, the drums are giving heaviness to the song. The guitars are there just for the melody. The guitars are so melodic. They're so driven. The, they have such a clear, crisp melody sound to them. There's no point in this song that I felt that the guitars were even slightly heavy they had volume they had sound but they weren't heavy. but just melody but yeah. it was just melody and the drums are I, I the was, heaviness i was also thinking about that during the song i, I saw them playing and i'm like yeah the, i can hear it but it's not heavy the heaviness is coming from the there's vocals no chugging the, there's no there's no, no chugging no the heaviness is coming from the vocals and the drums so so think about this musically you have the guitars providing the the melody of the song cre almost creating atmosphere and then on the vocal side of the, the parallel to that is her voice. Her voice is the parallel to the guitar. So from a musical so perspective. So the drums are the parallel to the. To, to the harsh vocals. Yeah. So you have this, this balance, both musically and vocally. Vocally, you have the two of them. And then musically, you have those two elements as well. You have the guitars and the drums separate. You know what I mean? One giving you heaviness, the other one giving you melody. And they never superimpose each other. The, the, the drums come to the forefront, specifically in the chorus, but they always go, go, they go, they come in and they go out. They come in and go out. Same thing in the verses and the guitars do the same, but at no point in time you feel like one is overstepping the other and, and like, oh, I can't hear this. No, no everything is coming you at you perfectly balanced throughout the whole song. They're just alternating on where the heaviness is. Like when the vocals are harsh, the drums are not as heavy. But when her voice comes in, the drums pick, pick up in up. heaviness, yeah. right? So like you have this, the, the, the song has these ups and downs that always knows when one element of heaviness comes in, everything else drops out. Yeah. Then the other element of heaviness comes in, everything drops out and, and they alternate it. So it gives the song this perfect ebbs and flows up and down, like the sea. The song musically, vocally is, is the like sea. the sea. It's, it comes at you in waves, perfectly uh, constructed track. I love it. I love this song. My favorite song on, on the album. The album is out today. Go pick it up. Listen to it on Spotify or whatever. Uh, but pick it up. Support these guys. Nobody's touring right now. Yeah. No, nobody's doing any live shows. So support these people. They, they, they're good. They, uh, they have a good record on their hands. And, and to release the record as good as this at this time is giving us something to listen to. So I really enjoy this album. All right, guys. Are you, are you good? Yeah. What, what do you think? Did, it, did I hyped it enough or yeah. did it hit the spot for you? It hit the spot. All right, perfect. On that note, we will be back tomorrow with more videos. See you guys. See ya.